we have an old classic problem we would call it uh, you can see the eyeballs on the ISL um, chip so this device actually came in to our shop with just an expanded battery um, you know obviously the battery was bad we replaced the battery uh, my technician got a light on the charger okay it's good we sent it home and then the client brought it back saying it's not charging um, it wasn't charging when it came in either um, but in any case we, you know th this basically should have been tested on a power supply we would have seen that even though the light turns on and it you know says it's charging um, the device um, is, isn't actually running power um, more or less so um, this is a really really common issue on the uh, earlier MagSafe devices this is a 2015 board um, and basically uh, most of the time this is killed it is from an aftermarket charger sometimes it happens with an original Apple charger too it's just less common um, this guy at home did have an aftermarket charger that's what did it in I told him to please get rid of that charger and get an original one uh, or else this will just happen again um, so in any case this, this guy um, I, I'm, I'm basically just fixing the board for free um, he's a, a good customer and um, you know in any case really board repairs on these computers don't make too much sense anymore they're not worth all that much so I wanted to still be economically practical he already paid for a battery replacement um, you know I'm, uh, I've already invested some time into it and really this doesn't take me that long to do uh, because I know what the problem is uh, and I've, I've you know replaced it many times before um, but essentially what happens is this chip this ISL uh, charging IC doesn't uh, talk nice with the aftermarket charger and they get in a fight and the aftermarket charger wins and it kills the um, the uh, inner cell uh, charging IC uh, pretty much um, I can look at this on the schematic see what we're doing uh, okay what does this chip do a lot of stuff Um, I think it, you know what it probably is, is more, it's like this is basically a middleman for the SMC and the charger, and then there's something there where the aftermarket charger can't talk to this correctly, and then we get the, you know, not playing nice, this chip dies, and then it blows up these two resistors. You can see these guys are two 10 ohm resistors. What exactly are these doing? Probably just power filtering for charging. Who knows? Who knows what a resistor really does? It's resisting current. Um, so we're going to replace the ISL, and we're going to replace both of these resistors. I have a donor board here, and I actually still have maybe five of these chips in my you know, board parts storage. Um, so, oh. ISL 6259 charging IC we'll put some flux on the chip and on the resistors we'll grab our tweezers and we'll get these off first turn on a fume extractor so we don't get the cancer Hot air at 430 max airflow. Get our new chip. Our 
second one is going to be in the lower right. Like so, I'm gonna put some more flux. Um, the symptom that you would see on this computer is you would be getting a light on the charger. It wouldn't be charging. Your PP bus will be at 4 volts if you're running the board exclusively off the charger. I believe you will get, uh, if you have a battery with charge in there, you would be getting correct voltage on, uh, on PP bus. That's basically what you're looking for. Resistors. For getting smaller surface mount stuff like this, I'll just I'm gonna do um, same airflow temperature, um, but I'm going to uh, lower the airflow to like half because uh, I don't want to shoot these off, lose them forever. Then I'll we'll have to go grab resistors again. Okay. We're at 60 airflow. I'm going to sneak up on these. Flow a little bit now. Looking good. I wonder if that resistor that I pulled is actually bad. Let me make sure. We should have 10 ohms uh, across both of these. Okay, so that's not. Okay, so this one on the left is actually bad. So I probably grabbed the blown up one off the table. Maybe this is... How is this one? This one's good. Okay.
I'm gonna double check again. Ten ohms. Ten ohms. And then we'll let the board cool down, and then we're gonna run power into it, and well, it should work now. some new DC injects for this too. I think I'll just uh, replace it anyway for the DC end port. How did... Where did... Uh... Well, I'll let this cool down and we'll be right back. Alright, and as expected and as we knew, the MacBook works again. Um, this is a really, really common problem in these machines. You use an aftermarket charger for long enough, you're probably going to kill the ISL charging chip. Don't use an aftermarket charger on MacBooks. They don't play nice with them. Um, is there a good reason why the charger should be original? No, not really. MagSafe charging is uh, pretty simple. I mean, you look at the actual, you know, connector on the thing, you've got you know, power, positive, negative, basically. Um, this is just, um, I don't know if it's purely intentional. I think it's a little bit over designed perhaps. Um, but you see a similar thing on USB-C MacBooks where it'll kill, let's say, a CD3215 USB-C charge controller. Um, why can't you just use another charger? I don't know. Apple, Apple wants you to use theirs. Um, so if you have a MacBook, use the MacBook charger, lest your MacBook ends up on my workbench. Um, you know, in this case, we're just fixing it for free. Um, you know, really in that case too, it's uh, a bit sunk cost fallacy. We already replaced the battery on it. Um, and I, I didn't test it as thoroughly as I should have when it was initially brought in. Uh, I should have seen, you know, when I unplugged the expanded battery, I should have checked to make sure the board actually was running power in the first place. Um, but, you know, we didn't do that. So, uh, you know, we replaced the battery. Then we see this has this problem. I don't want to go, oh, okay, actually, you know, it's $300 for a board repair. After someone just did a battery, you know, it's just uh, whatever. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna fix it. That's fine. Um, and then uh, this MacBook will continue its MacBook duties, and this customer is gonna use an Apple charger and an Apple charger only, or I'll be very very sad. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video.